What's up guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here and are curious about how the DoorDash app works, stay tuned, this is the video for you because I'm going to be going through the whole DoorDash app and I will show you a complete order from beginning to end and I wanna show you guys how to use the DoorDash app. I've been using DoorDash for about a year now and I was using only Uber Eats for a solid year. Now I do both, I multi-app cherry pick to make the most earnings but i do have a lot of subscribers who only use uber eats and that were curious about how doordash works before they just jump right into it so that's why i want to make this video for y'all just to show y'all how exactly doordash works because when i first started it i mean i got a video about my first time using it and it is not cute it is very cringy so the first thing you want to do is sign up with doordash you know install the app i have a link below that will put a bonus on your account as soon as you sign up you just have to complete a certain amount of trips everybody is different in different areas they give you different amount of trips to complete but once you complete that number of trips you get a bonus instantly into your account it's right there in the description box so after you watch this video just you know click it install it then it will tell you all of the information that you have to add you have to take a picture of your driver's license your car insurance tell them the make and model of your car it will prompt you every single step that you have to do all the information that you have to add it will take you a few days for your information to get approved but once you are approved they will send you a hot bag this is the DoorDash bag that they send you I will be honest I don't use this because it is super flimsy I went on Amazon and purchased my own hot bags which are way better i'll link these down below as well you get two for 25 dollars um i think the more you use your your doordash bag the more you realize okay i need something better once you receive your bag and your card you can then dash now or you could schedule in my area i can most of the time push dash now so this is what my doordash app currently looks like i can dash now because my area is red and busy but sometimes it will not be busy and i will have to have scheduled so you want to periodically look at the doordash schedule and see what is available and schedule the times that work for you depending on how busy your area is is how easy it is for you to schedule or you'll be able to just click down there at dash now and dash like literally instantly. So that's what I'm gonna do, I'm going to dash now. And then it has a checklist you wanna go through. So if you have enough gas, a phone charger, your red card, and a hot bag, but I'm going to start my dash. I got this order instantly, it is 350 for 2.5 miles. I do not take orders that low, so I'm gonna come up here and push decline my acceptance rate is 17 percent and that is okay because i cherry pick and i take the orders that i think are worth it we are considered independent contractors and i could accept any order i want to i could just decline all day long my acceptance rate can go down to zero and there will be no penalties with doordash you know we gotta be picky we gotta accept the jobs that we want to take it's like as if you were a plumber and someone wants to pay you five dollars to fix your toilet but this dude's paying you a hundred dollars to fix your toilet which toilet are you gonna go fix definitely not the five dollar one so that's gonna be a instant decline and you're gonna make yourself a hundred dollars per toilet i don't know why i'm talking about toilets but you get the idea right so again depending on your area and where you are parked i guess there is a I hop right here, which I normally get so many orders from. There's also a Chick-fil-A. I also keep track of my miles, so as soon as I get an order, I will turn my mileage tracker on and I will keep track of every single mile I drive for tax purposes. You do get a tax write-off. You can write off your mileage and you get like 50 something cents back from every mile you drive. So keeping track of your miles is very important when it comes to tax time. All right, you guys, I was I was patient and I got an $8 order for 0.9 miles. So this just shows you that patience is key. So I will accept this and I will head to Chick-fil-A. Yeah, 
once you arrive to the restaurant up here it will say pickup time is 9 39 it is currently 9 36 you're going to want to pull this up and it will give you all the information you need how to pick it up this says do not go through the drive through due to covid here's the customer's name and if i need to call or message her about the order here is her order so i will just skim through this and see that there is one two drinks and, no three drinks and then I will slide for arrival. I do not need to place the actual order. It is already being prepared. It is already paid for on the app. And all I do is tell them the name or the number and they hand me the food. And nowadays it is very important to mask up because if you go in there or to the customer's house without a mask on, you could get a complaint or a thumbs down and that goes against your account and you can be deactivated over it. So we're going to confirm pickup, confirm. So hiding her address, I will scroll up right here and it is a leave at door. DoorDash does use maps app. So I just clicked directions. It is three minutes away, 0.8 miles now. All right, so that order was delivered. It was a leave at door. So you are prompted to take a picture. I put the food down next to her mat, took a picture, and said that the order was delivered. So now it's searching for a new order. Um, it will tell you up here that this dash was $8.67. That's how much I was paid. If you want to pause or end your dash, these three lines right here, you just click and you could pause, end, or extend. So I will pause it for the sake of ending this video. And you do have 35 minutes to pause your dash. So if you need to run an errand, use the bathroom, if you're over on Uber Eats, making an Uber Eats delivery, which is what I do. If you do take longer than 35 minutes to unpause your dash, you could lose your time slot and not be able to dash. So that pretty much sums up a order, a leave at door order. You can also get um, hand to customer. Then you literally just hand it to them and you're prompted to end the delivery through the app. I will link some DoorDash videos down below and you could see all kinds of deliveries that i have been through so thank you so much for watching i really hope this video helped if you have any questions i have a great group of subscribers that like to help out other people in the comment section so just leave your question and if i don't get back to you somebody will so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video